What's up, Reefers? Guess what time it is? Frack swap time. Let's go. We're here at the Florida Frag Swap. Let's go. Alright guys, so we're here looking for the hottest Zoan things. So I know we have a whole bunch of crazy vendors today, so let's see what we got. So I know one of the vendors that I'm looking for is the Josh Pork Sandwich uh, section, so let's see if I can find it. Alright guys, so we picked up crazy, crazy frag seduction two header. Great deal with the Josh Pork sandwich. Alright, we'll wait till this puppy opens up. Tangerine shots, and these are orange shots. Huh. Okay. All local, all local to Florida waters, <laughs> including the original blood shots. All right, guys. So we're looking for hallucinations, and I think that's the one of the few ones that I came here looking for. So let's see. Stay tuned for the next video on all the frags I got. All right, guys, so we just got back from the frag swap in Lakeland. Put all the corals in the tank so they're acclimating. But I'm going to do a little work to the Red Sea 170 in the living room. I got some egg crates from Sea in the City. Shout out to Sea in the City. And I got Diamond Gobi to help me clean the keep the sandbag clean. So usually I have a Diamond Gobi, but in this tank I hadn't because I didn't have a lid. So let's hope this lid works out. I got the Diamond Gobi, and let's put everything together. I just got home from Sea in the City. I got the egg crate. This is what I'm going to use to make my kind of like impromptu lid. Measuring tape, just to make sure that I measure it right. I have to take into account the light and the overflow. I, I did get me a diamond goby, just to keep my sandbag clean. He's right here. I'm just going to float him. These are the little holders by Odyssey. This is what I'm going to use to put inside the tank to actually hold the grated. All right, guys, so we had a little bit of a speed bump, but we kind of got over it. So the original uh, great holders that I got did not fit. Luckily, I had a spare set from the Innovative Marine 30 gallon long. Now, sad story time. When I went to the guest bedroom to the Red Sea Max Nano, I went to check the grate. I took it off. I went to... That you literally stuck that side of the room for a minute. And when I did that, one of the fire fish jumped out in the dark. Um, we didn't see the fish, and someone stepped on them. So, rest in peace, dark fish. Anyways, it's not funny at all, guys. Um, I, I'm still in shock that that happened. But first thing I want to do is I'm going to measure the actual uh, width. Because based on that, it's going to determine how much I'm actually going to trim off. Get your measuring tape. Alright, so let's measure it. Okay, perfect. So, this is super easy to cut, so I grab one of these. It's not rocket science. Okay. Keep them up right here. The way that I do it, I literally just go 
straight down. That's it. All right, guys. Before I do that, I think I overmeasured so that little extra that broke off might not even be needed. Okay, so can I cut it a little more? Let's see. Yeah, I can actually cut this whole roll off. So it's actually good that happened. All right, guys, so after 10 years of being here, voila, isn't she a beauty? So I still got the diamond go being here acclimated, so I'm gonna put them in. Guys, look at this crazy mess. Look at this, so I'm gonna take the bigger pieces, right, because you could always use those for like frag racks, X, Y, and Z. So let's get this guy in the water. Now, the reason I got this is because gobies are known for being jumpers, so. Sometimes this prevents it, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes fish that's meant to jump, it's meant to jump. All right. You should be acclimated. All right, guys, I'm gonna put the camera down. That way I can grab the net and I can put them in the water. All right, you guys, got them in the net. Kobe, you are in. Oh, what the? You saw that? He did the depth twirl. Oh no, don't fall into the anemone. All right. All right, before you get any ideas, Mr. Gobi, I will be putting the net to save you from jumping. Only if you're professional. Don't attempt this at home. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Zoa Tank Boys. Till next time, Zoa Tank Boys out.